we kind of what's called the law of writing, meaning our eyes always want to be level with the horizon. Our head always wants to be over our hips and it wants to be in the center. Okay. And the body be damned. And it's really fascinating. The, the, the law of writing will screw up the entire body just to make sure the eyes are level with the horizon. And so if you've ever seen anybody with extreme kyphosis, their head will be cocked up so it can be level with the horizon in the center of their body. So instead, what the body will do is give her so my head can be straight. So now tell me the body's in control. That's fascinating. I don't think people realize um, just, it's almost like it's a geometric version of homeostasis where you want to be in a, from a linear standpoint, your brain has a benchmark or something that it's working off of, just like an altimeter and uh, something yeah. in a plane. Yeah. The altimeter is a great example. And that's the speaking one because it's got eight different directions it can move and that is your altimeter. And then that's what's controlling everything. So when you hear people talking about, oh, you had this spatial line is causing rotation. No, this is what's causing your rotation. It's literally, it's a default mechanism in our body, in our, in our mind or brain to be level with the horizon. It's a default. Wow. So now when people say, oh, the body is ruling the brain, tell me how. If you can deconstruct and de explain mm -hmm. the, the law of writing, how, if it's going to do everything it can to the body, be damned, long as my eyes are with the rise, I don't care what the body does. 